This is ID301 web page construction course. Today we are going to discuss another HTML basic text. All right. Okay, let's see how to insert a list into our web page. So when we discuss the list, uh, there are three kinds of list. Uh, they are ordered list, unordered list, and definition list. Let's take one by one. First one is ordered list. Ordered list means list whose elements are appear in certain order. That means we can specify order in our list. So that order can be specified using numbering system. So when you insert uh, ordered list, there is a type called OL. O from ordered, L from list, and HTML tag is OL. Then ordered list contains its item, we call list item. Then when you insert list item, there is a tag called LI, L from list, I from item, list item. Then the tag is LI, right? So let's see how can we use this OL and LI tags. So we have to first of all we have to mention this OL or this ordered list and within opening and closing OL tags we can insert items. We can insert items for our list, therefore the tag is list item li. So the li tag contains the, the its content items. Right? That means items are uh, appeared as a content of li tag. Right? Items are the content of the li tag. So let's see. Uh, I open the Notepad application. Let's see uh, how to insert list in our web page. All right. So first of all, I save this. Go to file, save as. Then in my I T three note one folder. I create another folder called T three. Then this is my first web page which contain the list item. Therefore, I save this on as so. Actually, in here I am going to insert say uh, universities, universities as a list item. So therefore, uh, I save this one as. Uh, Sri Lankan University or say SL Universities Universities dot HTML right when I click save okay then uh, you know the basic structure, the uh, structure of the web page, say HTML, and the closing tag of the HTML, and we have header section, closing the header section, and we have uh, body section, <laughs> closing tag of the body section. All right? Okay, I'll. See, increase the font size a little bit, say 28. <coughs> okay, then as a title, I'll put the title. Say, uh, I'm going to insert ordered list. Ordered list. So, I'm going to have a ordered list title. Then uh, I can insert header. Say, for example, I use the H1 header. Sri Lankan Universities. Then I close the H1 tag. Then now I'm going to insert the unit of Peradinia, unit of Broto, and unit of say Colombo. Then I want to specify the particular order. All right, I can <coughs> specify a particular order that means unit of Peradene is one, two is unit of column, 
third one is you need to more to it so i can have a ordered list ordered list at the same time i insert the closing tag of the ordered list it's easy then i insert lists list items first one is university of Vira then yeah then i close first list item then my second item is say university of say Colombo. then i close it then my third item is say sorry this is the opening tag third item is university of Moratua. right then i close it okay now i have a ordered list and i insert the items first item is unit of peradinia second one is unit of kalambu the third one is unit of Moratua. then i insert a header as in sri lankan universities Okay, then I save this then I go to the my folder I did 3 note on and day 3 this is my file right so this is my cell universities.html file right then I double click on here then it will be open to the web browser now you can see my heading is there my title is top of the web page or actually in the tab of the web page and this is the header sri lankan university which is h1 and then here the universities are listed in a particular order in unit of peradin is number one unit of colombo is number two unit of morto is number three all right so in here that order is specified using a a numbering system actually they are they use the uh, Arabic number system right that order that the order of the item can be specified using numbering system then that numbering system the default numbering system is Arabic numbers here you can use these are the Arabic numbers but if you want you can use the other numbering system as well right so this is the uh, attribute which can be used to specify the numbering system right so by default the numbering system is arabic number system that means even you don't mention the numbering system it's uh, the, the system is arabic number system but if you want you can change the numbering system right so default one is Arabic if you want you can use the Roman number system it may be uppercase in Roman or the lowercase in Roman number system or you can use the uh, English alphabet letters right it may be uppercase or lowercase like this so assume these are the items then in, by default this is a, a number system is Arabic number system and then if you put type as a then number system is a b c in our case and if you put uh, a lowercase a then the number system is a b c in lowercase if you put uh, capital i then the roman number system then if you put uh, a lowercase i then this is uh, specified using lowercase roman numbers right like this okay let's see I'll take this one and then I save this one as a cell universities to page save this say ordered list title is same then I put the type so here I put type is say one in Roman so in Arabic number system then I I have to open this so this is same as the previous one right so which is the default one is uh, arabic number system if you want you can change this say i put capital i then i made uh, modification then i have to replace this now you can see this is uh, a number using the roman number system if you want you can put lowercase i 
then you can see this is refresh okay now items are numbered you will see numbering as uh, roman numbering system and likewise you can change this right then lowercase a then likewise you can put you can specify the numbering system right using the attribute called type attribute called type right so now you know the actually attribute come with the value right always attribute come with the value as a pair and the attribute is type right so in here we can assign a value right so what are the values then we have discussed the values values are uh, we can use the uh, roman number system or arabic number system or uh, uh, english english alphabet letters right likewise you can use uh, any number system as you wish right and next one now we have discussed the ordered list then next one is unordered list that means uh, in there in unordered list this is also a list whose elements can appear in any order right in there we don't have a order right so actually unordered list encapsulated in tag called ul u from unordered l from list right so you can use the ul tag to define unordered list in there also uh, we can use list item li tag for inserting items right like this let's see right now i'm going to have a unordered list i'll take a new file then now i insert the basic structure of the web page so once if i say basic structure of the web page now you know this right and i have a header section all right including the title right then here title is unordered list then i close the title and then i close the header section then i insert the body section then close the body section all right so uh, what can i say i can use the say i take the unit of pair then and then uh, i'm going to have uh, uh, faculties of our university right then put uh, h1 say let's say title is say faculties faculties of city of Pulaadenia. right then i close the h1 tag now i insert the unordered list unordered list tag is you will so at the same time i use the closing tag then I can insert the list items. All right. Say faculty of arts. And then I close list item. Then I insert another faculty. So for the time being, I insert a few faculties, right? In your case, you can insert uh, all the faculties. Faculty of, say, all right list item close list item Field of management right okay it's enough then i save this one as an ordered list order say i say uh, faculties UOP UOP say faculties not HTML okay now I have an unordered list uh, which contain three faculties all right then I go to the folder then I open this okay, now you can see Right, so faculties are listed in a 
actually in here we have a bullet at least in, in ms word we have uh, bullets right so here uh, we have a disk bullet right so there are we can change this bullet type right again we have attribute called type in unordered list we can use that attribute called type uh, for define the bullet type right so default type is disk disk type right so at the same time you can use the other types circles square as well once if you use disk there is a default type so these are the bullets if you say circle so these are the uh, circle bullets or you can use uh, squares as well all right let's see all right then i save this one as you open faculties 2.html i change this one type so say disk all right type is disk right then I go to the my folder, second one, UOP faculties 2. You can see, right? So these two are same. That means even if you say type is this, that is the default type. If you want, we can say circle. Then I go to the, I have already opened that file and I have to refresh. You can see that bullet type is change, right? So default type is disk. Uh, if you want, you can insert, you can change that bullet type as a circle. So at the same time, you can use uh, square as well. All right, open, refresh. Right. So likewise, you can define the type of the bullet using the attribute called type. Okay. So so far, we have discussed the ordered list. Right, and we can change the type of the, the number system. That order can be specified using the number in system, and that number in system can be uh, defined using the attribute called type of the order type or ordered list. And then we can have an unordered list, and here the list items are uh, listed using the bullets. That bullet type can be Define the attribute can be defined using the attribute called the type. Okay, so far we have discussed the unordered list and ordered list, and there is another list. There's a, another list called a definition list. That means uh, uh, we can have a, a definitions, right? So, for example, uh, uh, actually. We have a say called uh, HTML. HTML means hypertext markup language, and then we have another language called style sheet. Uh, we have a language called CSS. Then abbreviation actually that is abbreviation. All right. So you can use these definitions using the definition list. Right. So there is a tag called DL D from definition from list definition list and then each definition list I should have a, a term a term for definition and term for define definition term then the tag is DL right then we have a definition list and there should be a term then we can have a definition right so we can create a definition list that is uh, DL and the pair of text associate with the D, D tag and the definition D, D, data definition. So these are in the without bullets, right? That means they are, uh, we don't have bullets or numbers, right? So this definition are intended. For example, we can have a definition list using DL. And then that our definition term is HTML. Then we can define this. This is the markup language. This is markup language for using for creating web page. So that's the definition. Then next term is CSS. Then we can have a definition for that term. This is the language used to uh, actually this is a language for uh, <coughs> style sheet. 
right likewise we can define that okay then css for the formattings so css info the formatting of our web page so we can have these definitions all right using definition list let's see all right then i take the basic structure of the web page so for example for the time being i save the same file using another name called say or for in your case you can create a, a, a basic structure say html then for syntax html then the header part then close of the header then open of the title and our title is a definition list dl type close the title then i can have a body body then close in the body type then our title is say h1 and i can insert the heading say definition list definition list and i close the heading then i can have a definition list definition list dl close in tag of the dl dl close in tag then first of all we have to insert the term definition term d t e t say first one is say html then i close the definition term then i can have a definition for that term d d say i can say html is a markup language like this and you can have any other terms as well say i close the definition now first definition term is or then you can have another definition term say css then close that term then i can have a definition say dd css is language then I close this okay then in here I have a definition term in here I have a definition again here we have a definition term here we have a definition then I save this as a definition list say definition list okay then i save this and then i i'm going to open this this up now you can see html and we have a definition here css then we have a definition actually these definitions are intended intent means these are in one particular line indent right these are indent here terms are indent and the definitions also indent so that's why here they mention uh, definitions are indent all right so here these are rendered uh, uh, by the browser without bullets right here we don't have bullets all right okay so that's about the definitions and the uh, definition list okay right 
this can use definition list.